Thank you, Dr. Fowler, and thank you so much for you all uh, taking part of your Friday. I know uh, Fridays are you usually have a lot of things on your schedule, probably not this, uh, but thank you for taking the time to come see this. I'm just curious, how many people have seen s some of the promotional stuff on TV, ads or what have you? Okay, a lot of you. Um, let me tell you a little bit about waste management real quick. I'm sure you all uh, recognize our green trucks and our green containers, our dumpsters uh, that are behind the buildings, but we're a whole lot more than that. Uh, we're also an energy company. We actually have power plants that run on trash. And at our landfills, our landfill here in Austin, we capture, when, when trash decomposes, it generates meth methane. And we capture that methane and run power plants. And in fact, we power the Dell campus here in Austin uh, from what goes into our landfill here in Austin. We're also the largest recycler in North America. So a lot of those things uh, people aren't aware of about our company. Let me tell you a little bit about what you're going to watch today. Uh, first of all, I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd be doing reality TV. Uh, I am not a reality star. I don't watch reality TV. Um, you know, I, that, that's just, that's not me. I'm not a reality kind of guy. Uh, however, when Lynn Brown, our, our Vice President of Communications, uh, brought this to me, uh, first I told her she was crazy. Uh, in fact, I called her a lot of other things, but uh, I'll just leave it at that. And uh, the more we talked about it, though, I spend, I probably travel 150 to 200 days a year. And I spend a lot of time with our frontline employees. But as Lynn and I, when I go out there, I show up as the president of the company. So, you know, you know how the president's treated. I thought this would be a great opportunity to go out. What they told the employees is that I was a brand new employee and that I used to work in the construction industry, which is true. It's just a long time ago. And uh, they told them the, film, the, the cameras are not hidden. They told them there was a film crew there because they were going to document what it's like for a new employee to come into the, to our industry and to work at our company. And so I think most people, how many people have seen Dirty Jobs or some of those shows? I think they kind of thought it was something kind of like that. And after about the first, uh, uh, you know, I'd say 15, 20 minutes into our shift, they completely forgot the cameras were there and we just went about uh, our jobs. I filmed for probably uh, almost two weeks and the cameras just, they came around to the various jobs. I never knew who I was going to be working with. I didn't know anything about the employee that I was working with. That was all chosen by our production, the, the people who were producing the show. And so you're about to see, y'all are very lucky. CBS has guarded this thing. I filmed this almost a year ago and I have not been allowed to talk about it. In fact, my family's here because they haven't even seen it. Uh, this is a first for, for, and I just saw the final version uh, just a couple of weeks ago. So this is a great opportunity. Uh, afterwards, I'm going to take questions and uh, do a little Q&A if you have any questions. Y'all are going to have a real hard time seeing the TV back there. So I'd suggest you either go to the back or you could come, if you don't mind, you know, kind of feeling like you're at an IMAX, you can sit right down here on the front. And, and look up. But come on in and we'll get the thing going and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so let's see what happens. Undercover Boss. Well Larry has graciously uh, agreed to have a Q&A so if you have questions uh, he'll answer them for you. So thank you, you want, very much you Dr. You want to say anything about uh, just give me your, your kind of your overall impression now that you've seen the movie. Because this is the first time you've seen it, right? I've actually, I saw it just recently. I was out in Los Angeles for something they call the Television Critics Association. So they had a closed uh, uh, session where all the critics, the people who write critical stuff about television shows were all out there. Uh, and they showed it to them. And then I was on stage for a half an hour and kind of got grilled by them. So that was a real experience. <laughs> Uh, but that was the first time I'd, I'd seen the whole uh, final version, and of course, uh, my family, that's the first time they've ever seen it, so I was delighted that they could join. Uh, you know, some of the takeaways, uh, you know, for me, one of the reasons I did this was I truly wanted to better understand what our frontline employees deal with every day. And I also wanted our, our customers to have a better appreciation of just what tough jobs they do and I wanted them to be as proud as I am of them, uh, you know, and hopefully get a little better understanding of, a what, of what waste management does. I hope you all have a better understanding as you sit here today. You know, I know uh, we try to hire people. We've got our recruiters here today. We try to hire people out of, out of colleges and universities. And, you know, going
going to a trash company, which is the first thing you think of probably when you think of waste management, that, I know that we're probably not your number one choice up there on the top of your list, but hopefully after you see what we do in the type of company that we are, uh, I hope many of you will. Uh, in fact, we've got some people who are out there right now who went through our intern program and who are working for us today. Uh, so I hope that you'll look at us a little bit differently. You know, from a personal perspective, you know, certainly you heard some of the things that I'm trying to change uh, at the company now. Uh, we, anytime we're getting ready to implement a new uh, 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 initiative or something that I know is going to impact our frontline employees, we put somebody from the front line on that team to help us design it. So I'd rather learn about the problems at the beginning rather than waiting until the end, you know, to hear about some of the unintended consequences and some of the frustration that we've created. But from a personal level, uh, for me, you know, I went through that and I just, uh, I, I really reflected upon how truly blessed I am. I mean, got a wonderful family and great place to work and great friends uh, who have joined me today and just great employees. Uh, every place I went, those employees, while there were some things, look, everybody has a job and, and there's something in your job that you'd like better and that's what I wanted to discover. But the way they went about it, you know, they were as proud of that company as I was. And they wanted me to succeed in my job, my new job, and, 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 and be part of their team. And that was really touching to me. So I, now I, I, I've been up here uh, dancing for a few minutes. Hopefully you've thought of a few questions. Anything come to your mind that you'd like to talk to me about, either about the show or about the company? Now, y'all are bright people. I know you got some thoughts right here. Well, I can tell you, uh, you know, as I was just going through the jobs, uh, I'll, I'll tell you the one that I did think about engineering, believe it or not, that day that I got fired working, trying to pick up trash, you couldn't really tell, but that wind was, it was blowing so hard, it was impossible to keep that trash on the end of your stick. And then when you'd finally lift it up, it'd blow off the end of the stick, you know, and so I said, okay, what would Dr. Fowler do? <laughs> You know, you're, you're walking across, so I finally got smart and I figured out if I walk into the wind, I can keep the trash on the end of the stick because the wind's blowing it onto the stick, and then when I, and it'll keep the bag open, and then when I lift it up, it'll blow into the bag. So, you know, I don't know, if, I don't know what engineering class I learned those principles in, but uh, that certainly helped me. There's another one back here. It, it varied. I was actually, I was actually uh, filmed for almost two weeks, about 12 days. Uh, it, it all depended on what job I was going to have that day, but most days I'd say I probably got up between 3.30 to 4.30 in the morning. Uh, that's, you know, a lot of these jobs, they're tough jobs because, uh, you know, we start early. Uh, we like to get out there before there's a lot of traffic on the streets. Uh, and so some of those days, in fact, when I would finish that shift, I'd go work an afternoon uh, job uh, after I finished that shift. There are a lot of jobs that, you know, they sort of chose what they wanted to, to put in the final show, but I worked in a call center, uh, handled irate customer calls. They were actually screening the worst ones uh, for me to deal with. That was, that was pretty fun. Uh, I worked as a dispatcher trying to get our trucks out uh, in the morning. I worked at uh, one of our power plants where we make energy from trash. Uh, and I worked as an a overhead crane operator. So there were a lot of jobs that I did. I wish some of them would have gotten on there because uh, there was actually some pretty neat stuff. <laughs>